Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this interesting Ramanujan equation together, so stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. So this is pretty interesting Ramanujan equation. The question is, what are the integer solutions to the following system of equations that we have square root of the x plus y is equal to 7 and x plus square root of the y is equal to 11? So what I'm going to do first is I'll be calling this equation number 1 and the second one as number 2. Then after this, I'll be subtracting equation number 1 from equation number 2. So we're doing 2 minus 1. Then we will have x minus square root of the x, now plus square root of the y minus y. This is equal to 11 minus 7, that is 4. So let's rewrite this as x minus y, okay, minus square root of the x, plus square root of the y. This is still equal to 4. Okay. Then again, I'll be making a parenthesis and rewrite this. Then we have x minus y, and then minus, making another parenthesis, then we have square root of the x, now minus square root of the y, that is equal to 4. Okay. Since we have square root of the x and y on the second parenthesis, so I'll be making this x as square root of the x square, and then y as square root of the y square. So that's why we can rewrite this again as square root of the x square minus square root of the y square parenthesis. Then we have minus still the second parenthesis. We should have square root of the x minus square root of the y. That is equal to 4. Okay. So using this, a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. We can rewrite this first parenthesis as now. So the first parenthesis, we can rewrite this as square root of the x plus square root of the y times square root of the x minus square root of the y. Then we have minus, second parenthesis, still square root of the x minus square root of the y. And that is still equal to 4. Okay, then taking a look at your left-hand side, we have this parenthesis, square root of the x minus square root of the y as your common expression. So we can factor this out. Then we will have parenthesis, square root of the x minus square root of the y. That multiplied by square root of the x plus square root of the y. And then we have minus 1. Close your parenthesis, that is equal to 4. Okay. But then again, question is only asking for this integer solutions, right? So that's why we can possibly think about some integers for this first and the second parenthesis. So first parenthesis, square root of the x minus square root of the y. Second parenthesis, we have square root of the x plus square root of the y minus 1. Right. We can possibly think about three cases, right? So 1, 2, or 4. And the reverse order for this, for this square root of the x plus square root of the y minus 1. 4, 2, and 1. Okay. So these are the only possible integer solutions for this square root of the x minus square root of the y. And then also the square root of the x plus square root of the y minus 1. Okay. So that's why now from this, what I'm going to do is I'll be adding these two up. Then we can cancel this negative square root of the y and positive square root of the y. And add those two up, then we have 2 times square root of the x, right, minus 1. And then if you add those numbers up, we only have two possible integers, 5 and 4. So this has to be either 4 or 5. First, if your 2 times square root of the x minus 1 is equal to 4, if this is equal to 4, that means 2 square root of the x is equal to 5. So that's why square root of the x is now equal to 5 over 2. That means your x is not an integer. So that's why this is not the case we need to take a look at. And then the second case is this 2 times square root of the x minus 1. This is equal to now 5. Okay. That means 2 times square root of the x is equal to 6. So that's why square root of the x is equal to 3, meaning your x is equal to the 9. Okay, then based on this value, we can talk about the value of the y, right? Okay, then if you plug it in this 9 to this x right there, right? Then we can have now 3, square root of the 9 is equal to 3, 
plus square root of, now y minus 1. This has to be 1 or 2 or 4. But then again, from here, if you add 1 to the left and right-hand side, then those three numbers will become now 2 and 3 and 5. You need to now subtract 3 from the left and right-hand side to describe the square root of the y. So that's why square root of the y is now equal to negative 1 or 0. Or 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So that's why the only integer solution that will make sense to this system of equations is if your y, square root of the y, is equal to 2. So that's why this is the only integer we need to take for the square root of the y, which means your y has to be equal to 4. Okay, so that's why the only solution, the only integer solutions to this system of equations is now x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 4. And four. This is the final answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting Ramanujan equations. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.